All right, Gambino. I've asked you three times now. One more time, and I'm going to start pulling teeth. Where is my money? Hey, wait a minute. You're not Gambino. You're Gambino. Oh, I am so sorry, sir. My mistake. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, hey. Put away the Vaseline and the Aguarve cactus, okay? Wait, we're done here. I am so sorry. This is my mistake. Will not happen again, sir. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here helping you hold back those fake gamers with yet another awesome real handheld. This time, in from all the way from France. It is the Game Bueno, which means game, game, good. Hey, I flunked two years of French, I ought to know. Fail. Anyway, yeah, this is an Arduino, <laughs> you see that, woo! Uh, doing that 3D thing for you, and it's really messing with the light too. Isn't that cool? Uh, all right, I'm done with it. Anyway, I'm over it. I need more coffee. I really don't. Um, anyway, this is an Arduino-based system uh, with a color screen. So it's a lot like the Ardu Boy. This has really been making some waves. It has a very, uh, very, very excited uh, backing for it. It does have a lot of games coming out on a pretty regular basis, a lot of development. So I'm really excited to uh, get a hold of this one. And of course, you know, we're going to start this the way we always do with the front of the box. Billy was a very boring looking box until one day he went to the wrong side of the tracks and learned how to be wild. No, no he didn't. The bottom. Well, this is really the, the, the front, but we're gonna call it the bottom of the box. Play, learn, make, and share. Made in France. Arguably the top of the box. How much more blank box can we stare at? About this much more. The bottom of the box. Game Bueno Meta. Ready to play. Make your first game in under 30 minutes. One assembled Game Bueno Meta console. One micro SD card with free games. One card reader to add more free games. One USB cable to charge the battery. I want to note that they use recycled headlights for the plastic case and recycled cardboard for the box. I'm done picking on the box. Attention, mademoiselle. Wait. Well, at least I got some French right. Well, there's no mademoiselle. Still. Fail. Oh no, this video can't be made for somebody under the age of 13. It's got a knife in it. Opening boxes. Oh no, I missed. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I need, he's doing it poorly and unsafely too. What are you looking at? Now that all that unpleasantness is over, let's open it up. Mm -hmm. Very nice, look at that. Put games in here. Headset, power on or power off. Plug in to charge. This must be that options key or menu key, home key and back or reset. It does say reset right here. Very nice. Oh yeah, we got a pin out here. See, I always think that's nice when they give you a little pin out so you can go messing with the thing programmatically. And you know, Arduino, Arduino is a, like a, like a mechanical language. I think it was originally made, maybe I got the wrong language. Yeah, what the heck, I'm gonna go forward with it. I think it was originally made for like uh, robotics, like moving mechanical parts, but anyway. Who knows? Here it is. Oh wait, let's get it open. Oh, urgh, urgh. Urgh. wow, that was tight. Ooh, the, it was coming off a little bit there. Hmm. They put them on for you in the videos I saw. They uh, they were not like installed. So that's nice of them. Maybe some people messed up or something. And now I put a big swipe across the screen. Good job, Rob. Feel free to applaud. All right, A button, B button, feels really nice. Tiny little D-pad. It's clicky, which is not bad. Here's your menu button. 
Hmm. Home button. Look at the bottom. Charge button. Little tiny reset in there, I think. Yep. Jeez. There's the right side. The top. That power. Yep. I'm guessing. We got a headphone jack. Not the volume control. There's where you put micro SD. Right side. Here's the bottom. Looks very nice. Made in France. Pretty cool. I like the looks of it. What else is in the box? There is a little sack for your game. A game sack, if you will. The drawstring. There is. So the USB adapter. See? That's a very nice one, really. I don't need it because I've got one attached to my computer already. Then finally, we've got this charging cable. It's plasticky, a little bit thin. It's not terrible though. It's about average. All right, I dimmed the lights a little bit, so sorry if this is imperfect, but I'm gonna just do a first time power up. How cool is that? I like the light thing. All right, English? I don't think I've ever seen anybody set this up. What's your name? Well, wow. Will this make it capital? Yes, it will. Hmm. Interesting. I'm enamored by this. <laughs> Enough characters, I hope. There we go. First time set up. And look at all this stuff. Well, Let's try a couple games, shall we? Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. Here we have Armageddon, which is a lot like Missile Command. Kind of a cool little uh, arcade game. And there's a lot of little things like this, you know, classic arcade games. A lot of platformers. There's some RPGs out there for it. Some of them pretty neat looking. Haven't got into them in any depth, of course, because it hasn't been that long. This is a first impressions video. I'm going to note that I can hit this button right here. I can save a screenshot, and I can save a small recording. It saves it as a giant long bitmap. There's also another, uh, another version of it that it saves that I don't recognize the file format. It says it's like a Genesis format, which I think is kind of weird. But anyway, I haven't been able to get that format to play and not 100% sure if it's actually what that is, but it definitely saves this bit map strip, which is kind of interesting. Sound on and off and the backlight on and off. See, oops, wait, see, pretty cool. Let's go on. All right, meet Metatype, which is a neat little side-scrolling shooter for the system. Nice, simple, but fun. Again, it's taking advantage of that lighting system. I expect to see more and more of that over time. Oops, I died. And look at how it just turns red when you die. Pretty cool. By the way, this is a game I added on to here, and I bet you're wondering, how do you add games to this thing? Well, let me show you it, because it's simple. So you want to add a new game to your game we know, do you? And I'm sure you will. All you have to do is take this little SD card right here, put it into the SD card reader, plug it in to your USB port. 
Go to your favorite browser of choice and enter gamebuino.com slash creations. I'm going to switch over to fresh because I like to see the latest games. I don't want any of those moldy oldies. No, no. Just kidding. There's plenty of good games that are both new and old. I'm going to download Ancient Lore. There we go. Now, I'm going to hit the download button. There is a possibility that if you have not been on this website before, you will get a login request. You can use your Facebook account, your Google account, or you can create an account here if you don't want them linked up, just so you know. That definitely will happen to you the first time you go. But I've downloaded this games.zip. And now I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into none of these, actually. Hold on. Let's get into the right... My downloads folder. There we go. Now I'm in my downloads folder. I have downloaded the game zip. It might be named something else depending on what you download. And I'm going to extract all. If you happen to have 7-zip, you can do the extract to here. But I'm just doing it for if you've got, you know, basic windows. And now it has extracted it to this ancient lore folder. And you see my Game Buino folder showed up as Drive E on mine. Might show up as D for you. Might show up as F. Just depends. But it will be the latest one that you added. And it will already have a bunch of folders in here. Just take the folder and drag it on to your Game Buino SD card and you are done that's it you've installed it now you just got to plug it in and try it out all right meet ancient lore here's a game I have been wasting quite a bit of time on actually uh, it, uh, <laughs> it caused me to run late on this video I spent about an hour playing this anyway uh, I walk around Ooh, wait I kill monsters by Pressing my A and B button if I have magic. There we go. Press it fast like the Cathalon. I'm going to get killed, aren't I? Okay, and then I collect treasures. And some treasures will, see, power up my heart and give me more hit points. And then also, I need to... Uh, gather gems to get the heck out of here. It's not going to happen, though. What I really want to point out, oop, I'm dead, is the lighting effects that are going on. And most of the games seem to support that, which is really pretty cool. Let's try another game real quick. Here's Neon Rattle, and it came with the system. Cool little game. If you like snake games. <laughs> oh, I'm not terribly good at it, especially trying to play through the camera. Anyway, graphically pretty nice. And gameplay-wise, pretty interesting. Oh, come on, I did not hit that wall. Yes, I did. There's the Game Buino next to the Ardu Boy. For size. If you're a less diverse gamer, maybe the Game Boy Advance will give you a better idea. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah? Hopefully. There's a couple of these little 3D object demos out there, and I thought it was just kind of interesting to see that it can do this kind of thing. This has got a house and a little chest. And then we got the world. And there's a little Game Buino! How neat. That can be used for something in the future. Kind of interesting, right? Not a game, but neat nonetheless. Omega Horizon! Which is... I guess you'd call it kind of a Metroidvania type of thing. But if you like to shoot stuff, wait, can I shoot that? Oh. Come back here. Really? I am getting my butt kicked. Apparently that cannot be shot. Looks kind of like Terraria, doesn't it? <laughs> Here's a little game called Bumblebots. 
Uh, it's kind of a puzzler slash action game. And basically what you're trying to do is catch all these dots uh, without dying. And it's not always as easy as this level makes it look. And very often it's environmental hazards that will get you. Oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. As opposed to enemies. There we go. No! Made it. Neat little game. Come on. No. All right, let's wrap it up. So what are my first impressions of the game Bueno Meta? Well, they are pretty darn positive. I was a little bit sad when I first got it and this wood was coming up a little bit, but I pressed it down with my thumb rubbed it a little bit and it hasn't come up since so it's been acting just fine happy with the screen i think it looks really nice there's a little bit of light leak along here that kind of drives me crazy but i'm really uh kind of nutty about that so it may not bother you the buttons and d-pad work just fine the ports appear to be sturdy i'm a little bit concerned about the on off button i think it's a little bit thin it could have used a little bit bigger one um very easy to install games on I really like that especially you know the trend right now is almost getting it harder and harder to put games onto these systems but this one made it really really super easy uh, overall construction quality eh, pretty good and I think that the games that are on here are pretty fun and they're just gonna get better because they have a community that are backing them pretty heavily so all in all for about a hundred bucks I think it was worth it. Thumbs up. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.